Welcome to Cadence tutorial. This tutorial is about the use of array and wire buses in Cadence. This tutorial is an extension to previous tutorial on inverter arrays. In the previous video, we have created an inverter array with the four inverters and different inputs now this design looks complex as well as it occupies more area and we are providing the four outputs from four lines with a single output now i want to compensate this inverter array with the with a single inverter by using the concept of wire buses instead of this four inverters i'll be using a single inverter so for that what you have to do is let me create a new file i'll call it as not underscore wire click on this get the symbol of inverter into the design area or copy this we require supply ground copy this into this area This is the VDD provided. You can connect directly here. In order to replace these four inverters, I'm using a single not or inverter gate. To replace that, select the not gate first. Edit the object properties and change the instance name with 3 down to 0. You can change it to value. Click OK. You can see that it is I17 and 3 down to 0. Now there are 4 single inverters along with this. So now the design is occupying less area when you compare with this four inverter schematic. You need four inputs. You require four outputs. Now the concept of buses will be used here. You can use pin y of 3 down to 0. change the direction to output and similarly create a pin with a 3 down to 0 change the direction to input this time you need to use a wide wire or use shift w to change the wire to bus now you have a inverter schematic with four inputs you have four inputs here and you have four outputs and this is an inverter with four VDC is equal to 1 volt. Check and save the design. Create a symbol out of it. The next step is to create. Once the design is completed here, you can create a cell view from a cell view. 
click OK. It has two input that is left is the input, right is the output. Click OK. You have a symbol editor. Create the symbol of a inverter of your choice. Whatever the design exists, based on that you can create the design of it. Right now I am creating the inverter. Circle. Of choice. Place this. You can change the instance name to X4 and change the height to 9 this is of choice you can change the to any different style this shows that there are four inverter strength check and save the design close it now i need to create a test bench for the created schematic create a new file again I am going to simulate the not underscore wire test bench. For that, I am creating a test bench setup TB or TB. Get the instance, my directory or library here. I want to get not underscore wire. You can create, if you want the arrays, you can create. like this or else directly you can have a single cell out of it provide the input from the analog library i want to provide v pulse a single pulse ground connect this by using the wire a single wire not the wider wire it's a narrow wire at the output you use the wide wire If you want, you can provide the loads. I am providing the capacitive loads at the output. Make the connection here. So this is the bus, you have to name this bus with the label because it has three outputs y3 down to 0. First you have to label, then you have to need or you need to label the individual outputs with the y of 3. y of 2, y of 1, y of 0.
provide the input as v in or you can give your own name i'm providing the label for it connect this change the pulse 0 to 1 1 volt period of the pulse is 200 pico rise time is 10 pico fall time is 10 pico pulse width is 100 pico now the simulation is ready or the design is completed before that you need to connect the grounds earlier i was using the array where it occupied more area this time i am having a single inverter with four outputs and it is occupying less area when you compare with the previous design now the design is completed and it is ready for simulation go to the launch click on adel edit perform the transient analysis for 600 pico before that i need to change the capacitance values to 1 femto because 1 pico is very large for 20 nanometer technology file i'll change it to 1.5 this for 0 0.5 femtofarad and this one with the 2 femtofarad different loads check and save right click edit 600 pico moderate click on edit for the outputs I want to have a single input. I want to plot all these four at a time. Since I am using the PTM models, go to the setup, click on model libraries, select these two model files, 14 nanometer click ok then click on netlist and run y2 is because of the mainly load 2 fem to farad v in is the input and these are the outputs because for a not gate high its output will be low. This response is mainly because of the load whatever we have presented at the output of the inverter. Here it is 1.5 directly I have given. Let me change it to 1.5 M2. Check and save the design. Resimulate it. This shows the output of a inverter or a single inverter which has replaced the array of inverters. Whenever the input is high, the outputs are in a low and you can see there are different rising times as well as their voltages are also different. This is mainly because of the load that is present at the output output of the inverter. 